Good morning and welcome to today's episode. Hold that thought for just one second. Don't judge me, it's my coffee. Anyway, it's my birthday. What am I going to do? I have nothing to do. My kids are at school, my wife's at work. I have nothing to do. So, Kira from Canon Ireland is going to be in Whelan's camera shop today. Whelan's camera shop is a fantastic place on, on Collins Street in Limerick. Uh, they uh, produce everything from uh, Canon, Nikon, Sony, Lasolite. They've got everything in stock. You really should go in and give it a visit. Now, Kira is going to be there with the new Canon 90D. So this camera is built for speed and action. It's almost like a replacement for the Canon 7D. And she's also going to have the new Canon EOS M6 Mark II. And this has got really a quality 4K mirrorless camera. And so I'm going to go in and try and get a touch and a try of this. And there's going to be interact interactive demonstrations. So we're going to have a bit of fun at the camera and see what it's capable of. Now I'm going to bring my 105 Vulcan Monster and I'm going to use the adapter for it because <laughs> I'm just mad to use that thing. And that is my favorite lens. Out of everything I own, that is my favorite lens. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna start packing up my stuff now and we're gonna hit the road and get into Whelan's cameras. So, actually I'll wait a small bit because it's still only half nine in the morning and they don't start till 11. So yeah, all right, so see you in a small bit. Okay, so guys, welcome along. We've actually come the whole way into Whelan's. Kira, nice to see you again. We got to see each other up in Dublin at the EOS launch event last year. So, Kira, you uh, you brought some toys along with us today. What have you got? Yep. So we have the the two newest announcements to Canon to our new range, uh, to our full range. So we have our traditional DSLR. Um, and the newest in the mirrorless range. Okay. So both the EOS 90D and the M6 Mark II. Um, both are very, very similar cameras. Um, they have the same sensor and that kind of thing. Um, both so what, what sensor is in them? Is it like a... It's an APS-C sensor. APS okay. um, but it's got Digigate processors. So ah. because of that, um, they're very high resolution, high speed cameras. So they're the same um, Digigate processor as in the ESR? Exactly, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so very similar cameras, um, obviously different build, you have DSLR and you have mirrorless, um, otherwise, you know, the, as I say, they're both very fast, this is 10 frames per wow. second, uh, that's 14 frames per second. Did you say 14 frames per second? Yes, yeah, so really high speed, um, the autofocus system, it, like everything about them is fast. Okay. So they both share the dual pixel autofocus system that Canon's quite renowned for. Um, yeah, and same really high quality. Okay, so if I just walked into the shop now here and uh, I wanted to buy a new camera, what are the selling points? What's the most popular thing about these cameras? What are you going to entice me to buy one of these? Um, so depending on whether you are shooting stills or video, they're both actually very good for both video and for stills. Um, on the video side, they, like, they both shoot uh, full HD 60p, uh, they both shoot 120p, um, and they both shoot 4K video. Ah, um, nice. Yes, so uncropped 4K video. Um, so you'll be glad to hear. Good um, advice. Now with the 90D, you actually have the choice. You can go cropped or you can go uncropped. Um, okay. You, you can choose. And then with the M6 Mark II, it's uh, just uncropped 4K. Um, so it shoots 4K at 30p. Yeah. And um, you also have 4K time lapse, 4K uh, frame grab. Um, so yeah, they're for video. They're they're power horses, really. Excellent. Um, and then otherwise for still. So depending on what you want. I mean, if you're looking for something quite compact, um, but like the highest standard, like the highest quality, quality photographs yeah. and that yeah. kind of thing. Um, you, I mean, you can't go wrong with the M series because okay. they're just so light and compact. The 90D then is, I suppose, the ergonomics of it. Like it's like a lot of people like the the feel of this, the robustness. We also introduced this tri uh, this um, joystick. Toggle, joystick. Yeah. Um, so similar to what we have in the 5D series, um, the 7D, yeah. all those, uh, and that's new to this kind of mid range. We didn't have the I I love the joystick. Now, when I bought the SR, I'm not, I'm not mad over mad about the touch the touch bar. Yeah, I would have different. preferred the joystick, and I think it's a great added benefit to the 90D. I think people will love it. 
Absolutely. And actually, when we showed it to people, that was one of the main things that they that they went mad for. So whether you're using it for your for your focus points, for example, it just makes it a, a, a much easier to to work with, I suppose. Yeah. Um, the autofocus systems in both of them, again, are quite unrivaled. This is 45 like, all cross type focus yeah. points. Um, and then the M6 being mirrorless, so we have like focus positions now with the mirrorless. Um, so you have like up to a thousand focus positions, so it pretty much makes the whole the whole screen one giant focus position basically. That's brilliant. Um, so it's, it's amazingly accurate and fast. Excellent, excellent. So I'm a bit of a vlogger, I have a YouTube channel, I like to get out a bit. I don't post every week, but I enjoy doing it. So but would one of these cameras be good for me as a vlogger? Um, so actually we were we were at Power Video there about two weeks ago um, and where I thought people would be going mad for the M6. I, I mean, people loved it. Um, people actually really wanted to see the two cameras and compare the two as well. Yeah. Um, so the 90D actually came out the winner. What? Really? So I think people... I suppose if for a vlogger, if you are using it on a tripod and you can use the, it has a fully articulated screen, yeah. um, it also has a mic and headphone jack, whereas your M6 um, has just the mic. Okay. Um, and then it, it articulates at 180 degrees. Now, of course, you wouldn't have the viewfinder on if you didn't, yes. you know, okay. if you wanted to use the screen anyway. So this, that's the beauty of this. Uh, you know, you have the, the EVF, um, you can pop it on and off. Um, so yeah, it actually came out the winner, I suppose, the fact that you have a viewfinder and, and hot shoes separate, yeah, yeah. Uh, the fully articulated screen and... So the autofocus is quite good in both systems, so it's gonna it's got phase detection and eye autofocus, it's, does Yes, it? exactly, so right, eye okay. autofocus in both. It does work better in the M6 because it's mirrorless. Okay. Um, and it works really, really accurate. Um, and the way you would use the autofocus in this, um, it, you, you use the source, you yeah. have the touch and drag, yeah, yeah, that's cool. um, which is a really fun and accurate way of focusing. But the eye focus, yeah, with, along with the face tracking works really well. The, the mount adapter, can I use Canon EF lenses on that camera? Yeah, you can. I can, okay. Yeah, so it comes with a, so we have the, a light, like similar to the OR system, we have the, the RF to EF mount adapter, we have the same for the M system. Um, so this, well this is actually this is the tripod version, um, but you can get the standard version as okay. well. So it's quite nifty, I suppose it just pops on. You can use any of the EF or EFS lenses that you currently have. That's awesome. I'm mad to, I'm going to test that out in a few minutes. Mm. And, uh, yeah, and it works really well. Like, there's absolutely no difference in in speed or quality or anything like oh, that. Oh no, the focus is the exact same as absolutely. if you use a normal native lens. Yeah, and Canon were very, I suppose we were very careful not to isolate, you know, uh, current DSLR users, for yeah. example, when they're switching between any of the systems. Cool, cool, cool. That's really exciting. Then. And so, coming back to the EVF, so oh, yeah. that's that's a nifty little thing. I love the fact that you're able to use it and take it off. So, as a vlogger, I'm able to take it off. I still have my 180 degrees. Is the quality in the EVF really, really good, or is it kind of uh, not so great? Yeah, no, it's an, it's actually amazing. So, um, it's you've got a it, it's a really nice, bright, crisp. Um, it, it's a really high quality one. The beauty of it as well is because you know you have it kind of jutting out a little bit. Yeah. It's really easy to use the drag, oh, the touch yeah. and drag. Focus so your nose doesn't get away. It happens to me all the time yes. when I'm shooting the yes, I'm yeah. shooting away next to me. My focus point is down the bottom right because I'm a left eye shooter. Ah, okay. So I'm I'm the opposite way around. Normal yeah. people are on the right eye shooter. No, I come across and my nose is hitting the touch points. Yeah. So Absolutely. this actually is yeah. really beneficial. The fact that yeah. it does come out quite a bit. That's cool. And um, yeah, because I use the touch and drag focusing cool. all the time. So yeah. it's actually yeah. That's cool, cool, cool. All right, so um. Which is your favourite of the two and why? Um, oh, it's afraid you'd ask me this. <laughs> so, because I, I use mirrorless and DSLR, and I, you know, I'm a big fan of both. Depending on what I, well, depending on what I'm doing or what I'm shooting, and I do love having a compact, uh, a compact yeah, body. Yeah. Um, I do think it's really beneficial, and certainly if I'm travelling or you know, even holidays, anything like that, I always go for a mirrorless. Um, that being said, with the, these two particular models, I found using the 90D was a little okay. bit more preferable. Um, I like how it feels. I love the, the joystick. Yeah. Um, 
um, I like the fact that I've got an articulated screen, but also the battery life on this is oh, yeah. better than we've ever done. You can get okay. 1300 shots out of one charge. You can always um, get more than what you say though. Exactly, <laughs> that, that's, that's kind of being conservative as well. Um, so actually in this particular instance, and I do love this EDF, I, like it, it is phenomenal. Um, but it's probably your little bit United these songs are winner for you? Yes. I would go for, for the <laughs> M6 Mark II. Okay. That's my that? favourite. I just love how small and crisp. Like I've totally changed my uh, thinking recently. Like I used to shoot in bigger cameras, and now I'm shooting an ESR. So I'm trying to downsize. Yeah. Even my filters, I shoot with an SW150 system. Now I'm trying to switch back to the the 100 mm system. So yeah. I'm trying to get lighter and lighter. And it's funny you ask because we did a podcast last night talking about the weight of our gear bags and what we have in them. So mm. uh, yeah, I want to scale down and I just like the idea and especially yeah. it's got 14 frames a second. That's what kind of yes. excites me for uh, yes. sports photographers or wildlife. It's really, really cool. Well, it actually also has up to 30 frames per second in raw burst mode. Wow. Um, so that's quite new to this camera as well. And that'll be an interesting thing. Mm. Yeah, that's I might have a go at that so in a small bit. So, What's the price point? What is it going to cost me to buy these cameras? Okay, so... And I have no money now either. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when you're out of luck. Um, M6 first of all, so that's uh, 1029 body only. Okay. Um, it does come with the kit lens, which will be... Uh, that's the kit lens coming with this is the 15 to 45 mil. Okay. Um, you will get the EVF in, in the, the kit. kit pack. Okay. Um, but we're also doing a launch offer. Uh, where we're giving the adapter, the main adapter for free as well. That's up until the 16th of October, I believe. Um, so the price for all that is 1329 Very good. And the 90D? Uh, so 90D body only is 1449 and with the kit lens 1855 1529 1529 Or you also have the option of an 1825 mm um, and that is 1849 Okay. Yeah, I think I'd... The Mark, the Mark II, the M6 is the one for me. It's, just, <laughs> it's cheaper, it's lighter, and yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Like, what do you think of the cameras? I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. And uh, Kira, thank you very much for coming on today. Really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this episode. Thanks a minute for watching, guys, and we'll see you again next week. Bye bye. bye. Thanks, man. Bye -bye.